Joshua Tree National Park is a true desert wilderness. Just a few hours outside of Los Angeles, it's known for stargazing, rock climbing, and sweet 16 birthday parties. I mean, it's 2020. Why not? There's nothing to fear, my friend. No, no. It's the natural Colorado. Okay, Orion is taking us climbing with a bunch of his friends. We rented shoes at REI. If you're a member, it's $8 and then $2 a night. So $12 a pair, pretty good deal. I think they're like $180 to buy them. Okay. To the natural Colorado. So unwind the dawn, unravel We can't help but be a little fragile Through the clatters inside and crackles All the sounds of the natural rattle Vibrating in us all Natural rattle vibrating in us all. That's what this is. The Hall of Horrors. Oh, dum dum dum. The Hall of Horrors rock formation is about three miles from Hidden Valley Campground. That's where we were staying. The trail is well marked. There's a parking lot and a pit toilet. But to find the actual hall, it does take a little bit of scrambling. Lucky for us, we had our local tour guides to show us where it was. Back in the early 20th century, Joshua Tree and the area around it got more rain than it does currently. Ranchers and prospectors tried to make a living in this region before the land was protected in 1936. Here's a little western history for you. At the start of the trailhead at Hidden Valley, there's this narrow passageway, and it used to lead into a grassy sheltered valley, and legendary McKinley gang brought their stolen cattle and horses here for hiding and rebranding. Now this trail is one of the most popular ones in the park with its one mile loop, plenty of climbing routes, and places to boulder. It really is a beautiful valley. On to our next adventure. Okay, last stop of the day. Our truck. Until we go to that next spot. <laughs> Just kidding. Another popular hike is to Arch Rock, which spans 30 feet over a boulder field. The parking lot and trail access is at Twin Tanks just off Pinto Basin Road near the White Tank Campground. It's a 1.2 mile out and back, beautiful hike. And did I mention, it is a really popular hike. place to go You're at the end of my favorite road Above the rest You're the best I know They might hate me after this. It's a 2.2 mile round trip to the Wall Street Mills, but hopefully it's worth it. Finding trails that aren't as crowded as Hidden Valley. For the Mill Street Mine Trail, there is a fork in the road pretty quickly and you go left and then find this little car. Happy Sweet 16! <laughs> the tires might need to be replaced. Okay, the Wall Street Mill was a stamp mine from up to 1966 it was operating. Also looked for gold here. And lots of old cars. 
Getting to the mine, you can actually get off trail pretty easily, which we did. Uh, but once we got to the mine, we saw the official trail. There was some rocks lining the trail. And this is what it really looks like. Uh, we were probably coming through a wash, but we got there. We went this aim general direction. There is a, there's an app you can download called, I believe it's called Mountain Projects. There's one also for mountain biking called MTB Projects that shows you the trail. It works with GPS. So it helps you not get lost, especially out in Joshua Tree where the streets have no names and everything looks the same. On the official trail, you do go by the little windmill thing. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little boy climbing on it right now. It doesn't say keep off. Just be safe when you're out here. Don't do anything crazy. The marker signs, but there's one. That's helpful. Yeah, because look what you get. <laughs> come to a giant intersection. Okay guys, until next time, it's Jan. See you out on the trails. We're in the next video. Thanks for watching.